we will continue on with angles in circle. Today's lesson is slightly more complicated, so do pay attention. First, let's look at this diagram. We have an angle at the circumference and an angle at the center. Both angles are subtended from the same arc. In such a case, the size of the angle at the center is always two times the size of angle at the circumference. If the angle at the circumference is x, then the angle at the center is 2x. Now let's see what happens when the arc gets larger. Here, the angle at the center is still two times the angle at the circumference. If we have an arc that is more than half of the circle, the rule still holds. The angle at the center is still two times the angle at the circumference. Now, let's look back at this first diagram. We can move the point on the circumference along the circumference. This will not change the size of the angle at the circumference, as we have learned earlier that angles subtended from the same arc are equal. So the rule still holds. The angle at the circumference is still x, and the angle at the center is still 2x. Now we move the point a bit more. And now we get this shape. Note that the angle at the circumference is x, and the angle at the center is here. It is still 2x. If we continue to move the point, we get this shape. The angle at the circumference is x, and the angle at the center here is 2x. Note that this is only true if both the angle at the circumference and the angle at the center are subtended from the same arc. 